Dear kids, hello. I'm Mr. Zanyar. I'm a teacher at Kurgenius School, and I hope you're all having a great holiday. Today, I have prepared some lessons in your Sunrise book, and I hope they're useful for you, and I hope that you listen carefully and pay attention to me. First, we're going to start with Unit 11, Lesson 1. In this lesson, we have some pictures. As you see here, we're going to listen to an audio track, then we will talk about each picture in detail. So now let's listen to the audio track, and then we'll come back to the pictures. Lesson 1. Look and listen. Hello, Foxy. Ice cream or juice? Uh, ice cream, please. Mm. Two ice creams, please. Oh. Two ice creams. Thank you, Matt. So, that's the end of the audio track. So, as we listen to the audio track, we learned that this is Foxy. Remember Foxy? And this is Max. So, in the first picture, Foxy wanted something. But Max said, what do you want, Foxy? Do you want ice cream or juice? Foxy said, I'd like some ice cream, please. In the second picture, Max was preparing some ice cream for Foxy. Then, in picture number three, Foxy is taking two ice creams. And in the last picture, Max is angry. He says, Foxy, can you guess why Max is angry? Or why is he upset at Foxy? I'll give you a couple of reasons and you can give me a couple of reasons at home too. So let's see which one is correct. Maybe it's because that Foxy didn't pay Max for the ice creams, right? Or maybe it's because that Foxy took the ice cream out of Max's hand quickly without waiting for Max to give the ice cream to him. So this tells us that Whenever we get something from someone, we have to be polite and say thank you. And then we have to pay for the thing that we get. So Foxy here had to pay Max because he was making ice creams and selling them. So that's very important, kids. When someone gives you something, you say thank you, and then you pay for the thing that you got. Now. We have two pictures here. We have an ice cream and a juice. Now we will listen to an audio track which tells us about these two words. So now, listen carefully and we're going to repeat the audio track or we're going to repeat the letters that we listen to in the audio track. Okay. Students book, unit 11, lesson 1. Listen and clap. Let's clap, everyone. I. 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 Ice, Ice cream. cream. I. 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 Ice cream. Now. Juice. Again. J, J, J. Juice. So, as you listen to the audio track, we have two new letters, which are I and J. I and the sound of this one is J. So we say I, J. So, now let's repeat it again. I, I, I. 
ice cream. I, 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 ice cream. So ice cream begins with the letter I. This one says J, 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 juice. J, 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 juice. Now, let's go to the next page where we can see the letters clearly. This is I and this is J or J. The sound is J. Do you see this picture? What is that? Can you tell me? That's right. It's an ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream begins with the letter I. And here we have juice. Maybe it's orange juice, right? Who doesn't like orange juice? It's very healthy for you. Juice begins with J, J, J. So now, let's look at how we write these letters. Shall we? Look, this is I. I, for writing I, we go from the second line to here, and then it goes just a little over. Then the second step is to put a dot here on the I. Let's do it again. From here, then a dot. This is I, 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 like ice cream. This one is J, J, J. J is different because we go from the second line and under the third line, like this. The second step is to put a dot. So I only takes two lines, while J goes under the third line. So let's write it again one last time. This is I, and this one is J, like this. I want you to get a paper and then write down these two letters so you can practice, or you can do it later in your activity book. Now, we're going to repeat these letters and these sounds one more time so that you can understand better. I, 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 ice cream, I, ice cream, I, ice cream. Now to the second letter, J. For the, for the J letter, we say J as the sound. So we say J, 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 juice, J, juice, J, juice. Now, as you can see, we have both letters here, I and J. Can you think of any other word that begins with I or that begins with juice? If you have another word in mind, I want you to tell your parents or your siblings about them. Now, we're going to look at this, play and say. Look at these two children. We have a girl and a boy. They are playing a game. What's the game? In the game, we have a couple of pictures. And then, they have to guess what's that picture. For example, this picture is an apple, or this picture is a girl. Good thing that we have the pictures here. So we're going to play a little game, okay? I'm going to show you the pictures, then you have to say the name of the picture in two or three seconds. It's very easy. Now, let's skip the first one because it's easy, and you have studied all these words and pictures in the previous units and lessons. Okay, ready? Good. This one. What is that? It's a kite. It's a kite. That's right. Kite is K. But we're going to study that letter in the next lesson. So you might want to hold a bit. Very good. We have something interesting here which is related to today's subject. We have this picture. Can you guess what that is? Yes. 
That's right. That's juice. J, juice. Good. Now I'm going to show you another picture. Let's see if anyone knows this one. Yes? Yes? Yes, that's right. It's ice cream. This picture is ice cream. It starts with the letter I. I, ice cream. Now let's do a couple of more of these pictures. Now this is a picture that you have seen it in the previous units and in the previous lessons. Who can tell me what is this animal? Can you see it? This animal is hen. Hen. Very good. Hen. Which starts with the letter H, which has the sound H. Now, let's go to another picture. Here we have, yes, it's a girl. Girl. Look, we have a girl here. It's a girl. Do you know what's the beginning letter for girl? Yes, it's what? Is it F? No. Is it E? No. It's G, which has the sound G. G, G, girl. G, girl. Now let's see if you can guess this next picture. Oh, this one is, this one is egg, egg. Does egg start with D? No. Does it start with B? No. It starts with E or the letter E, egg. Very good. Now we'll do one more picture, then we'll go to the next page. Okay, this one. This one is a cute little animal. Can you guess what that is? I didn't hear you. Yes? Yes, that's right. It's a duck. Duck. Duck begins with D, the letter D. D, duck, D, duck. We're going to play a game later on in the next lessons with these pictures. But for now, that's all right. You can see the other pictures in your student's book. Now, if we go to the next page, we have another game. This game is very simple and you can play it at home with your siblings or your parents. Let me tell you how the game works. You need to have a couple of pictures like I do here. For example, I have a fig and let's look for the apple. Yes, that's right. This is the apple. So apple, fig, apple, fig. As you can see here, fig, apple, it doesn't matter if you say it anyway. Fig, apple, fig, apple. So we say fig, apple, fig, apple for a couple of seconds. Then you need to say another name, another picture. For example, fig, apple, fig, apple, fig, apple, bag. Or fig, apple, fig, apple, fig, apple, girl. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. Yeah. So we ha we're, going, we're going to put down the two pictures because we already know it's fig and apple. So we're going to say fig, apple, fig, apple, hen. Let's do it with another picture. Yes, this one. We say fig, apple, fig, apple, ice cream. So I want you to play this game at home with your siblings or your parents or your friends. And then you will get very good at knowing all the words in your books. So that's all for this lesson. 
And one more thing, I want you to open your activity book, unit 11. I want you to do the pages of lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three, so that you can practice better and do the activities in that book. Stay with us and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.